Is it just collecting dairy? <laughs> no, it's the day we go to the movies to see Donald Duck. No, it's the anniversary of our trip to the harbor. Yeah, where I accidentally sank the boat. No, it's my birthday. My 15th birthday. Well, happy birthday, Juliana. Hope your special day brings you all that your heart desires. I'll help you, Juliana, but this is the most complex recipe any chef can concoct. Yeah, and I'm playing video games in my room later today, so don't get me involved. Yeah, and I'm too bored and too sidetracked to come up with something to do. Yeah, and I think you're too small and capable of practicing libel. Which makes you a combination of Thumbelina and Pinocchio. Turns out good help can be very hard to find. Here is the Jesse and Friends news flash. Dateline Albuquerque. According to a confirmation, 18-year-old Tori Perez has just befriended a homeless man who goes by the nickname Husky. Very few of the citizens of Albuquerque, New Mexico approve, but as I always say, friendship is a beautiful thing. Um, forget the homeless man. I just want to stop holding up the mic. Sorry, Hermit, you can't. Aw, oh, man. Hey, Jules, what's the matter? You seem to be in a lacrimose mood. can't do this by yourself, huh? Wanted to make a cake for your birthday and you weren't counting on everyone's help. But they're all in a lazy mood. You end up having to do everything yourself. Complex. Well, I know a story about a creature that had that similar a problem. You do? Is it a story about me? Well, you'll see. I'm about to tell it to you now. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She lived on a farm with a worm, a chick, a cat, a dog, a pig, a sheep, a donkey, a cow, and an elephant. Hold on a second, Jesse. An elephant? Why did you add an elephant to the story? Well, Jesse, I because I wanted to, the, the, well, let's just say the farmer acquired an elephant from the nearby circus and domesticated it as his own. Anyway, they all live in a pretty little house which the little red hen liked to keep clean and tidy. The little red hen worked hard at her jobs all day. The others never helped. 
although they said they meant to, they were all far too late. One day, the little red hen was working in the garden when she found a grain of corn. Who oh, will plant this grain of corn? she asked. Not me, wriggled the worm. Not me, cheeked the chick. Not me, purred the cat. Not me, howled the dog. Not me, grunted the pig. Not me, bleated the sheep. Not me, brayed the donkey. Not me, mooed the cow. Not me, honked the elephant. So the little red hen went to look for a nice bit of earth, scratched it with her feet, and planted the grain of corn. During the summer, the first grain of corn grew. First it grew into a tall green stalk, then it ripened in the sun until it had turned a lovely golden color. The little red hen saw the corn was ready for cutting. Who will help me cut the corn? asked the little red hen. Not me, wriggled the worm. Not me, cheeped the chick. Not me, purred the cat. Not me, howled the dog. Not me, grunted the pig. Not me, bleated the sheep. Not me, brayed the donkey. Not me, moved the cow. Not me, honked the elephant. Very well, then. I will cut it myself, said the little red hen. Carefully, she cut the stalk and took out all the grains of corn from the husks. What a very resourceful hen she was. Oh, well, will take the corn to the mill so they can be ground into flour, asked the little red hen. Not me, wriggled the worm. Not me, cheat the chick. Not me, purred the cat. Not me, howled the dog. Not me, grunted the pig. Not me, bleed the sheep. Not me, braid the donkey. Not me, moved the cow. Not me, honked the elephant. So the little red hen took the corn to the mill herself and asked the miller if he would be so kind as to grind it into flour. In time, the miller sent a little bag of flour down the house where the little red hen lived with the animals. Who will help me to make this flour into bread? asked the little red hen. Not me, wriggled the worm. Not me, cheat the chick. Not me, purred the cat. Not me, howled the dog. Not me, grunted the pig. Not me, bleated the sheep. Not me, brayed the donkey. Not me, moved the cow. Not me, honked the elephant. Very well, said the little red hen. I shall make the bread myself. She went into her neat little kitchen and mixed the flour into dough. She kneaded the dough and put it into the oven to bake. Soon there was a lovely smell of hot, fresh bread. It filled all the corners of the house and wafted out into the garden. The animals came from all over the farm. When the little red hen opened the oven door, the dough had risen up and it turned into the nicest, most delicious looking loaf of bread any of them had seen. Who's going to eat this bread? asked the little red hen. The animals were so excited, so at the same time they blurted out a resounding, Let's eat! But the hen said, Oh, no you won't! I planted the seed, I cut the corn, I took it to the mill to be made the flour, and I made the bread all by myself. I shall now eat the loaf all by myself. And she did. And that's the story of the little red hen. Not me. I'm not good at making cakes as much as Chuck does. Why don't you consult him? Well, okay. He was capable of helping me do the cake right from the start. He'll help me out there. Okay, everyone. Here it is. Made by Juliana and me. It's the greatest, most intense birthday cake that ever lived. Ooh. <laughs> Wow! Unfortunately, that big a cake is much too big a cake for you and everyone else to share. 
there's only 11 of us and one great big cake. But I do have a surprise that's just your size. <laughs>